Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diane Daniels. The terrorism in France throughout last week is impacting lives worldwide and right here in Michiana. 3.7 million people today taking to the streets of France for an unprecedented rally to show unity in the face of terrorism after attacks that killed 17 people. Between 1.2 and 1.6 million people gathered in Paris. Another 2.5 million demonstrated in other French cities and towns. And the unrest in France has caused a local travel agency to cancel a group travel trip to that destination. WSBT 22 Zach Crenshaw has more. Edgerton's travel service was closed today, but the company's president, Tom Edgerton, announced on Facebook that a June tour to France featuring Paris would be canceled. It's absolutely beautiful, uh, but I wasn't comfortable with the political situation right now, so we decided to cancel it. The decision wasn't an easy one for Tom to make. Well, it was kind of difficult because we did have people signed up for the tour. Uh, but I would never send any of our people on a tour that I wasn't comfortable uh, in going on myself. Edgerton says he's always thinking about his clients and following current events across the globe. I am glued to news reports because it affects our industry so much, whether it's, you know, a swine flu outbreak in Mexico or a bombings here, a terrorist attack there. All of these things affect our industry. While the trip is over four months away, Edgerton didn't want to take any chances. We just decided that we'd pull the plug on this one early because I just wasn't comfortable with the way things were shaping up. Canceling the trip has some minor financial consequences for the company, but not any for the travelers hoping to see Paris. We assure our people that there will be a full refund. There will not be any uh, financial ramifications at all for them. We are scheduling the trip again for next year. Uh, and if we can make it happen, we will. Edgerton says a trip like this should be on everyone's bucket list, and there's another already tentatively scheduled for June of 2016. Zach Crenshaw, WSBT 22 News. And in light of what is happening in France, we checked in with some of the area colleges and universities that offer study abroad programs in that country. St. Mary's and Andrews University have not had their programs in France impacted. Their students aren't based in Paris. They're actually quite a distance away from Paris. We did not hear back from Notre Dame.